Yo, what's up? This video is in collaboration with FL Studio and Razer for the Made with Blade campaign, and I'll be making my song on the Razer Blade laptop with stock FL plugins. Today, we'll be making a funk track. Funk is a hip hop subgenre that began in the early 2010s, stylized by its use of vintage instrumentals, Memphis rap samples, and gritty, distorted trap drums. Funk's inspiration can be traced all the way back to the 90s, where a few Houston and Memphis artists laid down the foundation for the style. DJ Screw, who coined the term chopped and screwed, used slowed down and low pitch edits in his DJ mixes, while 3 Six Mafia, with their fast and choppy flows, created the signature sound of 90s Memphis hip hop. Fast forward to 2012, the term funk was popularized by Space Ghost Perp, who used it in song and album titles, branding a darker and eerier vibe to funk music. By 2016, other artists like DJ Young Vamp and Sodier started using the funk hashtag, which quickly became one of the most searched tags on SoundCloud. In recent years, funk has taken a more bass-heavy and instrumental approach, adopting a dark and vintage visual aesthetic as well, often paired with videos of drifting and modded tuner carts. In a way, funk became the dark hip-hop alternative to Vaporwave. I know it sounds far-fetched, but hear me out. If Vaporwave represents the calm and chill sunset in 80s Japan, funk is the fast-paced, high-energy nightlife of 90s Japan. A defining trait of these drift funk style tracks is the use of cowbell. And not just any cowbell, but the Roland TR-808 cowbell. This sound was a staple throughout the 80s and 90s, but it really takes the main stage in funk. And not just as a percussion instrument, but now as the main melody. This sample is readily accessible in FL20, it's right here in the drums folder, we just have to put it in key so we can make our melody. I added a few effects to it as well, like an EQ to bring out some highs, and a stereo shaper and reverb to give it some depth. Alongside the cowbell melody is a loud and booming 808, and I'll be playing it with the distorted 808 preset from Flex. I'm using Fruity Fast Distortion to beef it up and a couple of EQs to clean up the sound. Next, I'll be adding some fast and punchy drums and some ride hi-hats to match. And lastly, I used this randomized preset from Harmless and this 3x oscillator patch for some effect sounds. And now we've got ourselves a pretty basic drift funk rhythm. A major aspect to the funk sound is of course the Memphis style vocal samples. Many of your favorite funk tracks use these type of samples just as some cool background vocals to help establish that upbeat feeling. There's plenty of songs to sample from, but for my song, I decided to sample myself. I made this simple old school Memphis style beat using some strings from SimSynth, Flex, and Direct Wave. I paired this melody with these drums from FL Studio's Legacy Drum Kit. And lastly, I used this 808 from Flex. I wanted to add some wear to the song, like some vinyl static, so I recorded the ambient noise in my room and pitched it down and EQ'd it. Lastly are the vocals. I just made a simple four bar rap and looped it a couple times. Here's a little pro tip. If you don't have a quiet room in your house to record your vocals, a good place to do it is in your car, which is what I did for this song especially on the Razer Blade 17 inch laptop. With its sturdy and durable aluminum frame, you can take this bad boy anywhere. And with its super fast performance, it has zero problems running FL Studio. There's also the Razer Chroma plugin in FL, where you could sync the laptop and other Razer Chroma peripherals to light up in time with FL Studio. After I recorded and mixed my vocals, all in my car by the way, this is what it sounds like. Dirty South. Yes, I know it sounds bad, but that's the point. Now that the song is done, I could put it into my funk project, pitch it down 100 cents, add an EQ, bit crusher with destructor and stereo shaper. And here's what it sounds like now. It 
So now that I've made the track, I wanted to implement a beat switch to cover another style of funk. Instead of the crazy cowbell stuff, I wanted to transition into the chill and spacey side of funk, inspired by artists like Lost Century. For this, I started off with a simple bass I made in GMS. Default saw, four voices, a little stereo mix, small detune, and a low pass filter cut. And the only effects here are a limiter for peak reduction and sound goodizer. And lastly, I used these two presets from Flex to play some melodies. And for this section of the song, I'm gonna automate the BPM to go from 160 to 140. The last thing to do is add some distortion to the whole beat. I like to use Fruity Limiter to create a soft clip and lower the ceiling until it crunches. Personally, I didn't add much to this song because I liked the way it sounded, but you could slam it if you really wanted to. Remember guys, bad mixing, good vibes.